Here's the question when it comes to Iran. Mr. Ossoff, I'll start with you. Would you vote for or against a war with Iran if U.S. intel revealed Iran was on the cusp of having a weaponized nuclear weapon? Well, um, here's my, my view on Iran. First of all, uh, Iran has made some commitments to uh, restrict uranium enrichment. Uh, and we need to hold Iran accountable to those commitments. We need to make sure there is strict and uncompromising monitoring of their commitments to restrict uranium enrichment. We need to make sure that sanctions snap back in the event that uh, the intelligence community or the International Atomic Energy Agency find that Iran has violated its commitments uh, to avoid restricting uranium. And furthermore, we need to impose further sanctions if Iran violates UN Security Council resolutions that prohibit uh, the testing of ballistic missiles. And in the event uh, that the imposition of further sanctions, should Iran violate the agreement, which the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and Senator Bob Corker, a Republican from Tennessee, have said they, that Iran has not yet, then no option should be off the table in ensuring that Iran does not uh, gain a nuclear weapons capability and threaten us and our ally Israel. So it sounds like you're saying after a lot of checking and double checking, so let me try again. If the intel came in and Congress were asked to vote yes or no for war against Iran, if the intel said that they had a weaponized nuclear program, would you vote in favor of that or not? Well, I believe that uh, when we're talking about something like the use of military force, Justin, with all due respect, uh, there are complexities involved that a hypothetical uh, cannot uh, fully in 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 encompass. Uh, what I will say is that if Iran poses an imminent threat to Israel, to the United States, to any of our allies, then we should use force to prevent them from striking our allies. And as we seek to ensure that Iran does not develop a nuclear weapons capability, if economic policy, diplomatic policy are unsuccessful in dissuading them, from developing a nuclear weapon, then we should be prepared to use force if necessary. Ms. Handel on Iran. Thank you. First of all, I, f I find it interesting um, because my opponent has uh, been in support of the Iran deal, and it is a fact that Iran has broken the parameters of that agreement. Furthermore, under President Obama, some nearly $2 billion in cash was flown over to Iran, uh, uh, money that the Obama administration has admitted is being used for terrorists and to support further activities there. What I will say is this. We need to have the strongest policy forward on Iran, and indeed it is not appropriate, Justin, I don't think, because of the complexities of this, uh, to speculate about whether or not there would be war or not war. But it is a fact that Iran is stockpiling the necessary um, uh, ingredients to nuclearize. We must stop that and engage our allies, and indeed they are one of the biggest threats to our ally Israel. And you know, it's just interesting to me that my opponent um, is being supported by several organizations that endorsed him specifically because he was going to be in support of the Iran deal.